Hello everyone, in this video we are going to create 3 tier application for conducting online examination using ASP and database. Before we get into the program, let's go through some topics need to know about what is 3 tier architecture followed by JDBC and its connectivity and JSP in short. 3 tier architecture is a client server architecture in which a functional process logic, data access, computer data storage and user interfaces are developed and maintained as independent modules on separate platforms. And that consists of presentation tier, application tier, and data tier. The presentation tier is a graphical user interface that communicates with other two tiers. The presentation tier, which is built with HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript, is deployed to a computing device through web browser or web based application. The presentation layer will send the content to the browser in form of HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. And this tier is a user interface and communication layer of an application where end user interacts with the application. Its main purpose is to display information and collect information from the user. This top level tier can run on web browser as a desktop application or a graphical user interface. The application tier is also known as logical tier or middle tier is the heart of the application. In this tier the information collected in the presentation tier is processed. This layer uses an application server and processes the business logic for the application. That is it can also add, delete or modify data in a data tier. This layer is typically developed using Python, Java, PHP or Ruby and communicates with data tier using API calls. Data tier sometimes called as database tier, data access tier or backend is where the information processed by the application is stored and managed. This can be a relational database management system such as PostgreSQL, MySQL, Oracle or a database server such as Cassandra or MongoDB. In 3 tier application, all the communication goes through application tier. The presentation tier and data tier cannot communicate directly with one another. A simple example of 3 tier architecture, suppose you are looking to find a movie times in your area using a web application. First, the presentation layer displays a web page with some fields for you to enter, like the date you want to view the movie and your zip code. This information is then passed to the application layer which formats a query and it passes to the database layer. The database system runs the query and returns the result that is list of movies available within your area to the application layer which formats it into the web page. This page is then sent back to the browser where the presentation layer displays it on the laptop or other devices. Java Database Connectivity is a standard SQL data access interface developed by Sun Microsystems that allow Java applications to access databases. JDBC is based on open database connectivity and it is used with Java programming language. JDBC allows an application to send SQL statements to the database and receive the results. The JDBC application programming interface is a standard component of Java platform. The JDBC API specifies a set of Java classes that represent database connections, SQL queries and their result sets and other objects associated with accessing databases. That is JDBC is a Java API to connect and execute the query with the databases. JDBC API uses JDBC driver to connect with the database. We can use JDBC API to access tabular data stored in any relational database. With the help of JDBC API, we can save, update, delete and fetch data from the database. It is like open database connectivity provided by Microsoft. Before JDBC, ODBC API was the database API to connect and execute the query with database. The ODBC API uses ODBC driver which is written in C language is platform dependent and unsecured. So the Java has defined its own API that uses the JDBC driver which is written in Java language. JDBC driver is a software component that enables Java application to interact with the database. There are five steps to connect any Java application with the database using JDBC. The first step is to register the driver class. Second is to create a connection object. Third is to create a statement object. Fourth is to execute the query. And fifth is to close the connection object. JSP is a server side programming technology that enables the creation of dynamic platform independent method for building web based application. JSP stands for Java Server Pages. JSP have access to the entire family of Java API including JDBC API to access the databases. JSP technology is used to create web application just like server technology. The JSP page consists of HTML tags and JSP tags. The JSP page is a text document that consists of two types of text. That is static data and JSP elements. Static data can be expressed in any text based format like HTML, SVG, WML and XML. Whereas JSP elements which construct the dynamic content. Dynamic content means the contents that get changed based on the user inputs or on some runtime conditions. JSP helps in handling such conditions. In this program I have designed index.html file in that I create a form to get the user inputs that is username and password. 
In HTML form, the method attribute specifies how to send form data. The form data is sent to the page specified in the action attribute. The method attribute have two values that is get and post. The get method is default. After submission of the form, the form value will be visible in the address bar. The action attribute specifies where to send the form data when the form is submitted. In index.html file, we created a form to get the user inputs like username and password. When the user inputs the username and password and hit the login button, the form data is submitted to accept user.jsp. Now we create a JSP file to process the user request. Once the user enters his username and password, the accept user.jsp will check for the existence of the user in database. If it is a valid user, it will display a message valid credential and click here to take online exam as a clickable link. On clicking the link, it will take us to exam client.html page where we do our online exam. Before that, we need to create a table in a database and name it as users. Create a column as username and password and add value for the respective columns. In exam client.html, we create a form to get the input from the user. And we use radio buttons to make the various options for the questions. And we set the URL of the server, that is exam server.jsp as the value of the action attribute. Once the user hits the submit button, it invokes the server and the form data is sent to the server. In exam server.jsp, we read the input from the client and retrieve the answer from the database and we check the answers from the user that matches the correct answers from the database table. For each correct answer, the mark is incremented by 5 and finally the server displays the mark and the result to the client as a response. Before that, we need to create a table in a database and name it as exam tab. Create columns answer 1, answer 2 and answer 3 and add values for the respective columns. Go to NetBeans, create a new project. In that click Java web, web application and click next, next, next and finish. Index.html is our login page where user enters the username and password. Copy the code. and paste here. Now create accept user.jsp Copy the code and paste here. Accept user.jsp file will get the user request. That is, it reads the username and password and check for the existence of user in the database. Now create exam client.html. When accept user.jsp file validates the user credential, it will take us to the exam client.html file in which the user do his online exam. Now copy the code for exam client.html. and paste over here. Now create exam server.jsp and this file retrieve the answer from the user and checks the user inputs that matches the correct answer in the database table. After submitting the answers, the server displays the result and marks to the client. Copy the code for exam server.jsp and paste here. Before that install Apache Tomcat server. Apache Tomcat server is a server and a servlet container. It implements servlets, JSP and HTTP web server to run your Java code. I have already published a video about how to install Apache Tomcat server. The video link is given in description. You can check out that. Now we are going to establish a connection from Derby database to JSP program. In service tab, right click on Java database node and select create database option. We give it IP lab as database name and username password as root. A new connection object is created. We use Derby network driver. The Derby's port is 1527. NetBeans has a useful Derby tool used to manage Derby database. 
Now connect the database. Your server gets started. After connection is successful, you can create a tables in database. Now create a table and name the table as users. Add column as a username with data type varchar and size of 50. This data type stores variable length string of 50 size means that it stores the maximum of 50 characters. So it keeps a 50 character space even if you don't store 50 characters. And add another column as a password and data type as varchar of size 50. You can make tables in two ways either by using SQL window or using the drop down menu where you can create table manually. That is what we have done now. Add records to the table. Create users with confirming password. This database checks the occurrence of username and password and validates the user credential and prints valid user. If there is an attempt of non-confirming username and password, it fails to log in. Now create a table called exam tab. Add three columns in the database as answer one answer 2 and answer 3. Now we enter the records for the respective fields accordingly. Sometimes the URL pattern may change depend upon the host name and driver name. Whenever we change the database software, the driver class name will change. You may confirm this by right clicking the database connection and then choose the property tab. In that the first option displays the driver name with its parameter. And if it differs, copy paste it. And similarly check for the driver class also. The driver manager needs a driver in order to connect database. Example of drivers are client driver and embedded driver. You can import these so that the driver manager can do its job. For that click on project tab, locate your project and expand the entry. Right click libraries from the menu. Select add library. Choose java database driver. Now we are adding derby client drivers. Now save and run the project. And here comes our login page where we enter our username and password. And if it is a registered user, it will take us to this page. Click the link message to attend the exam. And here user inputs the answer. After submitting the answers, the server displays the result and marks to the client as a response. The database always checks for the occurrence of user and validates him. If it is invalid user, it is going to display the message invalid credential. Okay guys, see you in next video. Thanks for watching.